Welcome everyone to a new Photoshop text tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to try to make glossy text. Uh, I have two uh, different versions. The one has a straight line of glass and the other one has a curver, curving line of glass. Uh, they have uh, two different ways of making them, so I thought it would be nice to show both. Okay, so we're going to start with the straight line because that's the simplest one. Okay, we're going just going to delete this. Also, I want to mention uh, the project's files are available in the description below for download. It's free, of course. Uh, so if you may maybe you have some trouble, or maybe you just want to look at my original project file, you can please have a look by download downloading it. All right, so let's create this text layer. So you're just going to select the text tool, or you can click T on your uh, keypad. And you're just going to write maybe glossy text. Why not? Let's make it a little bit bigger. Control T if you want to have the ability to scale it. Now you just want to go into blending options. Uh, also, make sure you uh, make it a color or something, uh, uh, something uh, other than white because. Uh, white, uh, fully white text won't have the ability to show gloss. That's just how it is. White is white. Okay, I opened up the blending options. Now go to uh, gradient and check that. Uh, then we'll go into the gradient options by just clicking on this. And you will then uh, drag this or you can type 50 or no. 51. Do that, then click on this, and then click on right next to it, drag this out to this side on 100%. Then you want to click on this uh, on the left and type 50. Uh, just then you're going to just drag this white one close to it, but not too much like this. So you get a sharp line in the middle here. Now, as you can see, you have created some sort of gradient that starts in the middle of the text. And if you go into the blend mode and change that to screen, you will remove all the black value of this text. Or if you ch change the opacity to maybe 20%, already you can see you have a glossy text effect. So that's kind of that's very simple to do, and the best thing about this effect, effect, <coughs> sorry, is that you can type whatever you want, change it, and that means that you can actually, if you are clever, go into blending options, go into gradient overlay, uh, go into the gradient uh, here, and you can save this gradient as maybe gloss. Now we have saved the gradient. So yeah. Uh, okay, so this was just the first one. Now we'll do the second one, the curving, the curving uh, glossy effect, like this one. So again, make a new text, call it something, uh, whatever you like. Make it a little bit bigger. Again, just rep repeating the steps. Now, you want to duplicate this text layer by right-clicking and then select Duplicate and just name it Glass. Now we have a copy of this text layer. Now we want to change the color of this text to... Oh, sorry. Choose the text uh, tool, then click on the text and make it black. Now you want to rasterize this by just right click, rasterize. Then you make it not a text layer anymore, it's a simple rasterized Im image layer. So you can't type change anything with it. Uh, it's not changeable. The, because, the reason why we do this is because we want to remove some of the text by just erasing it. And then we need to use the elliptical marquee tool. I think that's how it's pronounced. 
as you can see my cursor right now make it so it's lined up in the middle of the glossy line let's do it a little bit more clever shall we let's make a line over there oh that was, that was a little bit messy but whatever I just dragged one line out from the rulers you can get the rulers by pressing Control R and then just drag down from it then you want to use the ellipse tool and you want to just drag a line you probably don't want to see it won't see it but just drag it across this screen so you can see there's a curving line going through the text uh, it's a little bit uh, too low so we're just gonna raise it a little bit uh, raise it I mean <laughs> now you want to just hit delete Ma uh, make sure you are selecting the rasterized texture layer the gloss layer delete then you want to okay I'm gonna remove all these guides uh, just clear guides okay so now you have two separate layers as you can see uh, go into the blending options or wait sorry um, change the blending options on the gloss layer to screen go into the blending options on the gloss layer and then go check gradient overlay now you just want to reverse this so it goes from white to dark and change the bending mode to screen and then change the opacity to 20 and there you have it a glossy effect on the oops, that's that's curving so that's just two different ways of doing it really uh, you can also add uh, a gradient to the text uh, layer below the gloss layer so you can uh, just add a gradient they make the blending mode to overlay and just drag it make make it 20 as well and now you have a smooth gradient underneath the gloss layer so it's even more smooth glossy clean and also you can change the color if you want you can like change it to maybe some, uh, maybe red for example see it works so that was the the neat gloss trick so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you do please I uh, would like uh, like this video subscribe if you want more and stuff like that <laughs> uh, all right so thank you for watching guys uh, the project files are down below and I will hopefully see you next time on other tutorials goodbye